I want to flip it over right now to defense and special teams. And for us here, we've been scratching our heads, uh, PT, about Dan Quinn's stubbornness to, to run yeah. <laughs> this big nickel, you know, safeties at linebacker thing against these big personnel packages. And he just never deter from it, brother. And, and, and you said, as DC, it's your top priority to make an offense play left handed. And you were referring to Aaron Jones. And, and that's very true with Aaron Jones. But just in general, it, it just seemed like Dan Quinn would never come out of these things that continue to crush the Cowboys against quality coordinators and teams. But, you know, if you're a running back and you go into that film room, right, and you say, hold on, they got, what, a 205-pound linebacker in the middle? What? They're running small? They're going big nickel? What's going through your head when you're preparing for a team like that? Oh, uh, he's he's, he's going to have a long night, you know, and, and, and I'm sure that's what what every, what every offense think is he's going to have a long night. 14 to make his plays, but at the same time, we're going to bet throughout a full quarter game, we're going to get ours more than 14 going to get here, and and, and that's what, and that's how offense is going to it. Like, okay, cool, this is the defense that he want to play in. Cool, this is what we're going to do. And if 14 to 205 on paper, the kid's probably 200 to 195 pounds in real life. You know, so so we, we, we plan with this guy. We plan with the big nickel package. And it may work at times, but it's nothing that you can work with consistently. And like you said, the stubbornness of Dan Quinn, of this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick with it. I look at other guys like a Belichick. You know, it's so – teams used to, and reporters and players always talk about it's so hard going against a Belichick defense because it's so different week to week to week. And with it being different week to week, he's scheming to try to make the offense play left-handed. You know, mm -hmm. and you can just see when, when the Pacers was rolling with the defense, they was making guys play left-handed week after week after week. With us, I, I don't see us saying, okay, cool. It's, you can go into a game saying, oh, we're going to stop the run. We're going to stop the run. We're going to stop the run. But if you're playing a team that want to throw it all over the grass, stopping the run is irrelevant. <laughs> you yeah. know, you know, so so you got you got to understand what do this team want to do, what is, what do they bank on, what is their bread and butter. So we're going into like I said, we're going into a Green Bay game where a uh, up and rising quarterback, young quarterback, not many guys on the edge that's just gonna kill us in the passing game. So okay, cool, they're gonna play through Aaron Jones. How can we go in here and stop this? How can we be physical enough? Uh, do we even have the guys in the locker room? And, and whose decision was that? You know, is the guys in the locker room we need or the personnel that we have? Do we even have that in the locker room? But I think some things with DQ is, is he gets exotic, you know, and I think it was, okay, let's play 11 everywhere. All right, but at some point, 11 got to put his feet in the dirt and say, this is who I am. This is what I'm going to do. If not, he's just going to be a, a guy that you uh, spin around. If he's not getting sacks, then he's not productive. 